about Smith, and we're learning about inherent and learned traits. And I studied polar bears. For heredity, when it's little, um, it looks almost hairless and is blind. But when it grows up, it looks more like their mothers. For adaptations, uh, the polar bear has white fur to blend in with its surroundings, so it can't be easily spotted when hunting also. They have a thick layer of fur to help them keep warm, and they have black skin under their fur to help soak up heat. Uh, they also have long claws to help them grip the ice, and their big fronter paws make good paddles for swimming. For environment, uh, they live in the Arctic, which is near the North, North Pole, and it's cold and it has a lot of snow and ice for most of the year. This place is also called a tundra. Even though this is a harsh part of the world, many animals do find ways to survive. And for um, instincts, uh, the, mo the mother polar bear digs a safe place for their cubs, even though the cubs aren't born yet. Also, they stay with their cubs at all times until they're ready to go. And when food is scarce, sometimes male polar bears eat cubs, and they also fight over each other over female polar bears. And for learned, uh, cubs can learn from their mothers how to swim and hunt. They can also learn how to find food, like um, if the ice starts to melt, the polar bears may go to like northern towns and they might find food in the dumpsters. So they can teach their cubs to go there to find food. Thank you.